One module that I have used a lot recently in my Magento projects is the Page Builder source code. This module is developed by Mark Schust, a true legend in the Magento community. So in this video, I will cover these three topics. 1. The reason I use the Page Builder source code module. 2. How to install this module. And 3. More things to consider when you are working with Magento 2. To explain why I use this module, first I have to add some more elements to the slider on the homepage. H2 tag will be the first element. And the second one will be a paragraph. You can add and style these elements by using the Magento 2 page builder. So let's see how this is done. In the admins panel, we will go back to edit the homepage. Open the content tab and add it with page builder. Each slide has a text field where we can insert the new elements. Here I am going to type the first string. Select it and choose the heading to text format. I will center align the text. Make the text color white and the font size 52 pixels. And now, in a new row, I will insert the second string. This will be a white paragraph. Center aligned. And the font size 26 pixels. And now, let's save all the changes. If we now switch to storefront and open inspect elements, we will notice that the styles for each element we inserted are now in line. Page Builder is undoubtedly a powerful tool for content management. However, when it comes to styling the elements, it is limited. For example, if for some reason we want to give the H2 tag a red text shadow, we can't do that using the page builder. So, if we want to give the H2 tag a style that the page builder doesn't support, like the text shadow, how do we do that? A simple way to do that, which I am not a fan of, is to go to the slider primary less file and add the style directly there. In the storefront, we will see that the style is applied. We achieved what we wanted. However, as I mentioned, I don't really like this approach. The reason why is because we've styled directly an HTML tag without using a CSS class. There are many reasons as why you should try to use classes in CSS. One of the reasons is code reusability. However, in this particular case, when we style the H2 tag directly without using a CSS class, if in the future we decide to change the H2 tag to H3 from admins panel, we will lose the style. It is normal that after a developer finishes his job, a SEO audit is run to check if there are SEO problems in the site. Most likely the SEO audit will tell you to change some headings in the site, and it is expected when you change the headings, everything to look the same. You should not change both headings in the CSS. As the website structure gets more complex, there is a high chance to miss or break something if you have to change both HTML and CSS. So when you style a heading using a CSS class, you make sure that if that heading is changed you won't have to also change the CSS. So let's get back to our problem. We need to give the heading a red text shadow, we can't do that using the page builder, and we should style it using a CSS class. Unfortunately, by using the page builder only, we can't give a CSS class to the new elements. Technically we can, if we modify the database, however that is not practical so we need to find another way. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Mark Schust has created a module for this specific case. This module adds an icon, as you can see here, which when clicked opens makes it possible to edit the source code of the text field. To install this module in your project is quite easy. There are only three commands you need to execute using your terminal. The first command is, Composer Require, Mark Schust, Magento 2 Module Page Builder Source Code. When this process is done, the files of the module should be inside the vendor directory. Just like a theme, the module also has a registration.php file. I open this file to check the component name. The second command to execute via the terminal is bin magento module enable component name.
and to make sure that the module is properly registered. Bin Magento, Setup Upgrade. And now, everything should be okay, when we go edit the text field, the source code icon should be there. And now, let's finish what we started. Here, I gave each element a class and I removed the inline styles, now the HTML structure looks much cleaner. In the slider primary less file I styled these elements. You can find the code in my GitHub account, link in the description. And this is how things in the storefront look now. Before I end the video, there is one more thing I need to mention. I used the BEM methodology to name my CSS classes, you can go ahead and learn more about this topic, I will also leave a link in the description with the official documentation. There are a ton of articles online that talk about this methodology, so if you have some time, make sure to check them out. This is the end of this video, as always, thanks for watching.